Hello again, everybody. Today I'm going to show you the 190 Helix False Cut with a 360 degree revolution. I've done a few videos on the 190 Helix False Cut, so hopefully, if you're having difficulty with that, this tutorial might clear that up. And this 360 spin is a pretty cool move. So, first, let me show you how it looks. Oh, first of all, a false cut is when you cut the cards and it makes it look like you're messing up the order, but you're not. So here we have the six of diamonds on top of the deck, the six of hearts on the bottom of the deck, and if you would please memorize the position of all the cards in the middle. Okay, you got it? Okay, good. So now I'm going to show you the 190 Helix False Cut with a 360 degree revolution. And we have the six on top and the six on the bottom. So, for the rate and the regular 190 degree helix false cut looks like this. So you're just going to just pivot and swivel the card. So let me show you. What you want to do if you're right-handed, I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, you want to hold the deck with your thumb, your index, and your middle finger. Keep your ring finger and your pinky off the cards. And you're going to practice taking cards with your index finger and transferring them and just holding the cards with your middle finger and your thumb and transferring them to your other hand. Once you've done that, you're ready to go, hopefully. So now what you're going to do is you're going to start by taking a very small portion, even if it's three, four, five cards. Very small portion of cards break away and you're going to lock it in between your thumb and your index finger of your other hand. Lock it in. As soon as you lock it in, at the same time, you're going to come down with your ring finger and you're going to flip the card back. At the same time you're doing this, you're going to break off a small portion from the bottom this time. Not from the top, but from the bottom. So, you break a small portion off from the bottom and this time you're going to slide your thumb right through there, lock that small portion in, and then come down on top with the small portion that you took the first time. That's why you want to use a few cards. It doesn't matter, and it's easier to handle. At the same time you do this, you're going to split these cards right in half, and you're going to use your ring finger and your thumb now and grab that, the cards that are being locked in with your ring finger. And then you're going to go right up here in the top corner and pivot your thumbs, pivot right down on top, and then your thumb will go to the bottom. Pivot. If the cards don't fall and then drop these cards on top. So that's the regular 190 Helix, where you just give it one pivot, just like that. The 360 is you take a small portion, lock it in, go back, take a small portion, slide your thumb in, come down on top, split, grab with your ring finger, and instead of just giving it a pivot, you're going to give it a 360 degree spin. It takes a little bit of practice, but it looks like a pretty sweet move. So that's it. Thought I would just share that with you. Happy Halloween. Good luck to everybody in the contest. I'll see you next time.